next news is out of Poland, Armin. Woman arrested in Poland over posters of Virgin Mary with rainbow halo. A woman has been arrested in suspicion of offending religious sentiment after posters bearing the image of the Virgin Mary with her halo painted in the colors of a rainbow flag appeared in the city of Plock in central Poland. A Plock police spokeswoman confirmed a 51-year-old woman had been arrested over the alleged offense, offending religious feeling as a crime under the Polish penal code. If convicted, the woman could face prison sentence up to two years. Two years. Holy shit. Are you serious, Poland? What the fuck, Poland? Like, are you, this is part of the free world. Apparently, Poland is supposed to be a more, are you, are you, I, I couldn't believe that this could happen in Poland. Like, they're acting like an Islamic country. I guess they're trying to compete. Christians are competing with <laughs> Islamic countries now. Like, are you serious? I didn't know this could happen in Poland, really? I know Poland was a, a lot more religious than other European countries. I, I, I thought that just meant that people, are uh, on average, are more religious. I didn't know the laws are religious. Like, how are how is this allowed? Like, they're, they're part of the European Union. This should not be... Blasphemy laws should be against the European Union, isn't it? Like, how could they, they can, as a member, they shouldn't be able to do this? It should be, but, you know, Atheist Republic, us as an organization ourselves, got involved with protest to the UN, um, protesting people who still have these kind of laws based to imprison their citizens for thinking. Um, you know, the UN should not be allowing countries like this to hold in my opinion uh these kinds of laws it's it's barbaric yeah, but i'm talking about the european union right because they're a member state and mm -hmm. this is part they can't be a member state and do this this kind of bullshit this um i mean i don't know somebody should bring this to the european human rights commission or something this yeah is, this that's is a the, very good this point anti-free freedom of expression in europe for fuck's sakes and again, this should backfire. We need to spread this. We need to. Who? What's the, Who's the art? Is this an artist kind of work? Like, who's the artist? Is was she the artist, or was she just posting it? Um, she was just posting, or she just yeah, she was just posting it. Um, I don't think that she's the artist. If she was, it doesn't say so. Mm. Um, but they found several dozen dozen of these images. So I don't think it was just posting. Like she actually had posters. Um, of this as well. So, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Renzo is clarifying in the live chat. He's saying blasphemy laws are allowed in the EU. Oh, what? yeah, blasphemy laws are allowed. It's just I just what don't the think they fuck should be. You? Um, and by the way, I don't know, Armin. If you click on the video, it has an image um, of video? what she had. Yeah. Oh, there's a video for this. Okay, let me see. Uh, let's bring up the video. But we need to, we, this art needs to backfire as well. Like this is to, people, more people need to embarrass. Let's see. By the way, a lot of people, when I try to show the video, they think that my image disappears. No, I'm just trying to make the screen bigger. That's why my video, where is the video? I, it's not in the article. So it's not a video, it's just an image of the poster. Oh, okay. No, the, people can see that already. It's in the, th it's in the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, never mind. But let me see what the top comment is. Um, David is saying, so much shame to be Polish. No, don't be ashamed to be Polish. Don't be proud if Poland does something good and don't be ashamed because you did not do it, okay? You're not responsible for actions of other people, uh, right. even, if it's your, even, even if it's your country. Tim is saying, I had no idea that Poland was this backward. Yeah, I didn't know. Actually, one thing I just realized recently when in a documentary was that uh, Polish um, politics is very influenced by uh, the Catholic Church in Poland, right? There's this one guy, one Polish guy that has a lot of influence, uh, one Catholic priest in Poland that ha controls a lot of the media in Poland. And everyone that wants to get elected has to go kiss the ring of this priest before like has to go and to a ceremony and he televises like everybody his approval this priest guy in Poland is very important for you to be able to get elected so uh, Catholic Church has a lot of influence in Poland unfortunately which you know a lot of people consider European countries to be a lot more mature than this kind of backwards thinking but here we are Poland apparently 
has not got the memo that we're in a, in a new era. They're still back. Okay, Roman is saying Poland is going backwards. What a joke. Yeah, actually, not only Poland, not it's not only that Poland is uh, religious, it's, it does seem that they're also going backward. Like, I think things are getting worse in Poland. So people, uh, if, if, we're, if you're from Poland and know anything about this, please comment, let us know. Um, another comment is saying, people imagined the halo God created rainbows, who's blaspheming now? Um, see, okay, Renzo, it's good that we have Renzo here because he has a lot of good information on the EU. Renzo is saying a couple of EU countries still enforce blasphemy laws. Uh, Poland, Germany, are you serious? Um, Austria, Italy, Greece, Finland, Scotland, Northern, uh, Northern Ireland. Renzo, are you saying they actually enforce it or they just have it on their books? Because there's a huge difference between just having an outdated law on their books that they don't enforce than this example like in Poland that they actually are enforcing blasphemy rules. Are you saying yeah, that's all Jack? That's what Jack is saying in the chat. They don't enforce the laws. They just haven't redacted them. Yeah, but Poland seems to be actually enforcing it. So yeah, I, wa I wonder if these other countries that Renzo mentioned, they just have it on their books or uh, and I know recently Ireland, um, thanks to the active, uh, th thanks to the work that Atheist Ireland has done, which is an organization in Ireland, uh, Ireland recently removed all their blasphemy laws, right? So that was huge progress in Ireland. And th that's, again, people, when people say, oh, we can't make a difference, this is how things are. No, because of the, because of the activism of groups like Atheist Ireland, they removed blasphemy laws from their books. And that was a country where this was having an impact on what people were saying. A lot of yeah. traditional media were not criticizing religion on, on traditional media because of the blasphemy laws in Ireland and atheist activists remove those laws. So don't tell me activism doesn't have an impact. Renzo is saying they are rarely enforced in most countries. Okay, thank you for that, Renzo. So Subham is, is asking, as long as they're still in the books, isn't it possible for people to convict someone based on those laws? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and America is, is a great example of that. We still have blasphemy laws in some states that uh, just recently, Pennsylvania, oh, if you want to call it recently, I mean, yeah, a couple but, years ago, uh, they enforced a blasphemy law. So having it on the books means that they can indeed enforce blasphemy laws. Right. So in the United States, it's unconstitutional to enforce the blasphemy laws even though they st some states still have them in their books but even though it's unconstitutional it takes a lot of efforts to like somebody could technically enforce them and then you have to go through all the legal costs and trouble to actually challenge them in the supreme you know you like just because it's against the constitution that doesn't mean people can't use them to harass people that's and right. bankrupt them from f because they're using all spending all their money on legal fees to be able to challenge a law that is against the constitution atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.